Level 13, Lawful Evil Cleric. We'll do some more map clearing. Okay. Cool. So we're a little bit stronger. I wasn't, I didn't get the attack bonuses that I wanted necessarily, but having my main dude without flank will make it so it, when him and Wolfshift are on the same target, Wolfshift will have all those attacks of opportunity. So I feel like there's going to be a payoff. All right. Uh, let's head back to Dresden. And from Dresden, we'll probably come all the way down here. Maybe even go to the heart of the mystery if we can figure out. I think we have to get through this, though, to get to the heart of the mystery. What is it? It's only level eight. What was it that was keeping me? Oh, this thing kills everything. Uh, maybe we'll take another shot at it. Let's take another shot. Just so I get a reminder of why I didn't fight it. And there's always be foul barrows. Burn down shack. Okay, this is where we'll head next. Okay. Uh, House of Death. I still think we're waiting on that one, right? Yeah, three days. Is there anything else we can build that might give me a little bit more bonus? We have so much empty space. I just have not been building the right things. When an enemy storms the outer walls, we don't really need this yet. Okay, we don't need that here. It's weird. I feel like there was a lot more buildings that I had. Kingmaker. Uh, Hall of Strategy provides plus one influence and tag to power all, all, uh, for all generals. Okay. 1800. I would need 300 more. Okay. Drop this bad boy here. Okay. Okay, okay. Oops. I do want to enter Dresden, but not this way. Oh, come. See what this Hell Knight wants.
Yeah, care. A family figure clad, a familiar figure clad in black armor appears before you and ceremoniously offers a salute. Greetings, Knight Commander. Yaker Ankle from Perlix Durang. Durangi's squad at your service. I'm afraid it's becoming a habit, but once again, I bring dire news. Yakir shrugs apologetically. Yakir has cast a nervous sideways glance at his superior officer. Perlector, while you've been following the Knight Commander, much has happened at our outpost. Enough to be chattered, Knight. Give your report. Although Rachel's tone remains in as dispassionate as ever, his gaze has grown in intensity. He watches Yakir like a predatory beast prowling ever closer to its prey. Yaker snaps to attention and repeats a message he clearly has taken pain to memorize. Reporting to whom it may concern, a group of Hell Knights has vanished under suspicious circumstances. They were last seen at the road that occupied the city of Iz. The Knights were escorting a group of cultists carrying a letter captured in a recent raid on an underground hideout. They disappeared after reporting their approach to our outpost, and the chapter recorded there failed to find any traces of the missing Knights. The situation is highly abnormal. Such a large squad could have fallen in battle and we could use them, but they could hardly have vanished into thin air without so, uh, without so much as a sign of struggle. Powerful demonic forces might be involved in the disappearance, thus we inform Dresden about the incident and plead for the help in our investigation. <clears throat> Tell me more about the hideout. Where were the cultists captured? It was a secret hideout consisting of large warehouses and several workshops, that sounds like loot, which produce equipment for the cultist cells all over Mendeb. We've been tracking the cultists for a while and finally located an attack and... well... Okay, wow, I just misread that. We'd been tracking the cultists for a while before finally locating and attacking them. Strangely, our intelligence reports had indicated that several of the powerful demons were already, already present inside the hideout. But our strike team only found mortals. We captured and escorted them to our outpost for questioning. That's because I killed demons. Uh, what of this outpost were the knights last seen? As I understand it, Paralector, Renth, Ty, and Darothan informed you about the outpost during their visit to Dresden. I don't remember that, but okay. Well, we finished its construction just a few days. Oh, yeah, that outpost just a few days ago. It's already our largest staging uh, ground in Eastern Worldwood. We have a small permanent garrison stationed there, and we use it as a resting area for the Hell Knights involved in various expedition. Fine, I'll take care of it. Rachel, Wait, uh, <coughs> Rachel waves Yaker away, then sets his pale yellow eyes on you. We must visit the Hell Knight outpost as soon as we can. I suggest you treat the incident as seriously as possible. It might have unexpected consequences. Alright, do I have to take you with? you I need to talk to Finian nameless ruin okay oh I forgot this dude's waiting for me Whatever. Mm. I want to do Watch Your Step because Hell Knights. Alright, let's go to the streets. Probably gonna have to level up Regil before we go. I guess he could take place of Wolfjif. So, mostly going in the street because I need to sell stuff. And I want to see if Ember is moving along in her story yet. Okay, first, let's sell stuff. Head chopper, huh? Okay. Do a bulk sell. Get rid of this. This. Keeping that. Get rid of that. I'm gonna keep it. It's okay. But it's okay. It's okay enough to keep. 
Uh, is there anything less than... F that's angelic resonating. Demonic resistance. So three. Which is ally or weak. Get these. Figure out where these go. So, okay. Not a lot that time. Uh, yeah. Let's see what we can do. I don't think I think he just levels, yeah. Um We need to level him up real quick. He's way back there. Uh, okay. <sighs> Let's bring him up as a hell knight first and then we can go back to fighter. Okay, so we had two Evan fighting. Right. Where did I do that to him? I think that was a mistake, but I just kept riding with it. Uh, we might just give him out flank since we're doing that. Anyways. Charm. Actually, let's do fear. Light uses smite chaos on creature. You can strike the creature mute for 1d4 unless it succeeds a will save. I mean, Shackle would be good. This creature, okay, it touches standard action to cause a creature to suffer incredible pain. The creature touch takes damage equal to 1d6 the Hell Knight's charisma modifier and must succeed a will save to become or become staggered. Ooh, that'd be fun. Do this. Okay. Uh, greater to heaven. I mean, let's. We're gonna do it. Might as well, uh. Just bite into it, I guess. Okay. We should improve his charisma. We're gonna go the Hell Knight route. All right, we'll do Charm. Here. Attack, run, strength, travel, war. Looking for anything. Cause your hand to shimmer with divine. Okay, aura of heroism. 
Wait, what? What's that? At 8th level, you can emit a 30-foot aura of heroism for a number of rounds per day equal to your level. That's dope. Let's do that. I don't even care what the other things are. Seems fine. And then the uh, charisma ability check. That's cool. The body is So that's the touch of glory. Okay. Hmm. Actually, kind of no, because he doesn't really summon positive energy, right? He's a fighter. I don't think that actually would be good, now that I'm thinking of it. Onslaught would be kind of good. Let's do Onslaught. I think that would be good. Because I don't think there's anything else in here that... It Sandra actually gets to be an inspiring word. Okay, we have that already. At 8th level, you can issue an inspiring command to your allies who must all be within 30 feet. And that's going to give you a C, but I believe we already have that inspiring command. He doesn't have that much wisdom. Um... I think Onslaught's gonna be. Yeah, because his wisdom's not that high. A little bit more strength would be a nice little bump. Do. Roof's critical. I already had improved critical. Combat reflexes would be good because you get plus four. Add your strength bonus to damage rolls made with your offhand. You normally on add only half of your strength modifiers to damage rolls. Okay, that's kind of something. I mean, combat reflexes would be good with him too, especially since he has outflank. And plus four. Because he doesn't really wield light weapons. Okay. Okay, yeah, because we already have this. Cool. Alright, uh... I think he still has his mythic. He does. Battle meditation, that would be kind of good. See what else? Don't automatically miss when you roll a one.
Whenever you make an attack of opportunity, you gain a bonus on the attack roll and damage roll equal to your mythic rank. That's actually really good. That would be definitely what I'm looking for here. here they are unstoppable. Yeah, let's just do that because we need the attack bonus. Get to plus 15 on his melee. Okay. On his first melee. It's alright. A lot of people are still listening to her. Alright. She hasn't added anything. Some people like her. Other people don't. Anyways, let's go back to the keep. Take a nap and then we'll go chase down those Hail Knights. And hopefully add them to my army. Okay, so we are going to next to the constructed outpost. I don't remember. I think it's to the west, or was it setting to the east? I can't remember. We'll find it. I need to earn so much gold. Can you just take what you want by force? I mean, that's not how things are done on the surface. We don't kill a tavern keeper if we want to drink. We kill some scoundrels, get paid a nice sum for it, and then make friendly conversation with the tavern keeper about the weather while sipping our pint of stout. I wonder if she wants to do anything. I'm going to follow up on her story next. That's crazy. It's cool, though. Oh. Continue. And we hoard some more. Uh... Oh, that's right. You're using dual hammers. Okay. Let's see if we found any better hammers. I know you have like a really good this. All right, there's that. You have nothing else. Um, I mean, stat could be charisma or dexterity or constitution, depending on what I get view. Do we have any more hammers for you? Uh, we have a two-handed hooked hammer. We don't have a single hand one. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, I don't think he rages either. Okay. Unarmed. Strength constitution. Constitution. Dexterity. Not sure if he had a ring. So we'll throw this out here. Some intelligence. Okay. Hmm. All the mythic stuff I have, I don't really have that much. I'm not mythic, but like this kind of stuff. The wielder of this uh, Naum Hooked Hammer has any lawful alignment. The first, okay. That's kind of cool. Let's see if that actually works with him. So, what does this one do? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, you can't wear these. Damn it. Oh, can't, because you already have that ring. Hmm. Poop. Might as well give him some constitution. Right? Like, I have belts. So, like, let's give him a belt. Let's give him strength. Get on his stuff too. Okay, we put this away. Okay. Wait. Thought I pulled a belt. Nope. Oops. So let's just do that one. Okay. There you go. Cool. Can't make the demons wait. If anything, we can make Regil Giant and stick him in the second line too. That wouldn't hurt. Oh my god. It's fine. Just realized I did something again. You don't have any spells. No, let's hold up, hold up. More magic missile. Okay. You now have raised dead, which is the greatest thing ever. Uh. Fine.
Okay. Okay. All right, let's go. Beautiful. Uh, the House of Death isn't ready yet. All right, sorry, bro. Yeah, we're gonna have to mess with the formation when we get out. How long have you been blind for? Do we have removed blindness? I think we do. I don't know who has it. Well, that's gonna change what I do. That's the only place you can cast Magic Missile. You must attack the darkness. What's up, Esuo? <laughs> Alright. Let's go down in here. Let's cure blindness, scroll, and then we'll go wherever we're going. I think someone in my party does have cure blindness. I just want to make sure I have the scroll so I don't have a blind person with us. Nothing wrong with blind people. It's just they're not very good tanks. Or maybe they're the best tanks. I'd just rather her not be blind. Scrolls. And cure critical wound. Moderate serious wound. Is there no cure blindness? I mean, there's scroll of blindness. Is it remove blindness? It's dead. It is remove blindness. Okay. He already bulk salt. It's garbage. Nope, nope, nope. I can't remember which vendor had the other one of these. And whether I can afford it yet. Because this would be really helpful. Alright. Just get rid of it now. I love how my, my quick trips, like, yeah, my quick visits to town are never quick. Okay. You, you. Nice. I think you've probably passed me at this point then. Such a good series. All right. Uh, group of the circumstance uh, vanished in the world wound. Secret of the mystery of reach. Could you give me a little bit more hint than that? Oh. Oh, no way. That's convenient. That's super convenient. 
We're just gonna... Why can't I port there? The spell is still on cooldown. Oh, it's five day recovery? Okay, whatever. It's not that far. Uh, let's play army first. Let's see if I have any shot at this again. I know it's been... Like, I was getting beat up pretty hard before, but let's see. Okay. Alright, let's... Drop these archers. Damn. start. Alright. We need to drop these two. I'm not really worried about the archers at this point, to be honest. So, either the cultists or these guys are going to be the next things we have to kill. Let's go with these guys. <clears throat> okay. Awesome. So, now let's hit the cultists. Nice. Hands on self. These units. Okay, we need to get the cultists down. Okay, so far okay. Uh... Return. Damn it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, we have to kill the cultist. Oh my god. Oh, wait, wait, you're over here. Um. Okay. And these guys are annoying, but the cultists are gonna be even worse. We gotta start healing. Let's grab these guys. Alright, we're looking okay. Spearmen suck, but these guys suck more. Okay. Still think we can pull this off. Ah, this is what I was afraid of. Crap. Uh. This might be too much. Let's 
this might be just too much. Uh, I'm gonna need some killer heals. real quick. I knew I was going to lose that unit, but I'm wondering if I can heal enough of these clerics. Still make it. Alright, I'm gonna kinda cheat this out real quick. Let's see if I can pull this off. No, I don't think I'm going to be able to. Mm. It'd have to be one hell of a heal here. And then I've lost these. Damn. How much are they going to... Let's see what the tax is. That's way too many marksmen. Alright. Like these guys, I wouldn't mind losing. Ten? Eh. Uh, but yeah, I can't lose these guys. Not that many. It's too many. I think we could still do this, though. Like, one more lucky roll, and I think I would have been okay. I have, like, an AC. It's only for undead units, though. Hmm. All right. Nice. Okay. Hands on others. Again, lucky. All right, uh, let's break down these cultists before they destroy my group. I'm actually gonna have them defend. Nope. 
Just short. We're just short. And that happens, it's too much. It's actually a solid heal. Uh. Damn. Well, I should kill the cultist. Damn it. Bring back enough is the question. Okay, that's not gonna work. Okay. We're just short. If I have more rangers, I think that'd be it. units and that group will be able to do it otherwise I'm just gonna be like constantly trying to get lucky all right they need sleep Let's see what happened here part of the fortress wall sustained damage in a demon attack on Dresden a number of buried golems uh, covered in dwarven ruins were discovered among the collapsed stones Upon hearing this news, a member of the Dwarven clan has contacted the commander and claimed that the golems belong to them. What should be done with the golems? Uh, what's this do? Added 40 material. 300. Give the golems inside. Keep the golems inside the wall. Shrek to the golems and use them in battle. That's weird. Uh... Let's see the lawful thing. I don't need another unit that I'm not going to use. Okay. I need to stop doing that captive cult of thing. Because, like... Yeah. We'll do the experiment next. I don't even use cultists. Let's enter location. And go. Alright. Fix the formation before it becomes a problem. Okay. I will help where I can. Back on your horse. Oh, we should have rest. Um. No reason to pause. Okay. I think that's all the fatigue we have right now.
Virgil scans the top of the hill. Wisps of smoke rise into the air, giving away the location of the Hell Knight outpost. We must hurry and remain very, very alert. Um, tell me more about your outpost. The outpost is situated on top of the hill. The main building has stout walls and small windows. It serves as a resting area for various Hell Knight orders. Apart from my own troops, there are currently three chapters quartered here, as well as the permanent garrison. We've stocked up on food and water. The gargoyles have taught us a valuable lesson, and now we're prepared for an aerial attack. Uh, what could have happened to the missing squad? They were last seen in this very place. We must comb the area. Uh, I'm ready. Let's hurry. Okay, I don't know what that is, but it's gonna die so quick. Okay, give you your thing. Perception check failed. Everyone's failing their perception checks. Um, Nice. A pale youngster practically uh, prostrates himself before you. Finally, someone's here. And it's the Crusaders, too. Please, help me. I'm all alone. I don't know what to do. The lad's appearance perfectly matches the description of one of the cultists who were supposed to arrive with the last escort. Virgil notes dispassionately, gripping the handle of his weapon. A uh, cultist? Me? No. I'm just an apprentice craftsman. Uh, they made us work against our will there. Calm down and tell me everything. Start at the beginning. He raises a light-colored eye to meet yours. As you command, it's true. I worked in that workshop for, you know, the performance folks, but I didn't do anything wrong. They dragged us there and threw us in the basement. They made us work, fed us little, but also beat us sometimes. And then these folks in the black armor turned up, killed the guards, tied us up, brought us here, and left us. Please, help me. I'm afraid to cross the world wound by myself. Uh, what happened to the black armored knights who captured you? I'm telling you, they left us here. <clears throat> They brought us all the way here, tied us up, and then left us to die. And they laughed about it, too. Farewell, you cultist bastards. Either demons will eat you, or you'll die of hunger soon enough. They said and left. Uh, left. There, towards the hill. I was only one to escape. I untied myself and tried to hide. Um, what do they have you do in the workshop? All sorts of things. We made armor and stuff like holy symbols. We also made clothes and painted shields. They usually gave us an example, say, shield and armor from the order of such and such, and we had to copy of it. In other words, they were preparing disguise so that the spies of Ivory Labyrinth Templar could move unseen in Crusader camp. There's a malicious glint in Regil's eyes. Where are the other captives? There's no one else. The demon showed up and killed everyone. I was the only one who got away. Regil, does this make any sense to you? Regil growls through clenched teeth with an uncharacterized passion. As far as I can see, he's an accomplice of the cultist. An accessory to the crime. He must be interrogated harshly, tortured if necessary, and then executed if it turns out he knows nothing. Um. Torture, you say? That's a quick and efficient approach. The lad recoils and surprisingly deaf jumps away from you. Yeah. Together? They will break against our resolve. Um, I'm going to send you back here. Have you healed up real quick? Are you still here? Don't move. I'm actually going to try to keep you alive for once, so don't move. I love how nobody can really hit Roach. Well, none of these people at least.
one less demon. Splendid. This is further proof that those tainted by the cult of Baphomet can never be trusted. Wise words. Most who succumb to the demon can justify their actions, one way or another, but the outcome will always be the same. Their weakness, unworthiness, and demise. I really like Vigil. I must commend your appropriate resolve. I'm not in favor of summary execution as a solution to every problem, but there are here, there are circumstances that demand it. We must verify the claim that the knights return to the outpost. Move out. This is as long as the skeletons lasted. Hell Knight Outpost is shrouded in silence. The three chapters seem to have simply vanished, leaving only the pillars of smoke from the fires to testify the recent presence of the living. That doesn't seem a nerve regal in the slightest. He dispassionately scans the camp as if waiting for something. <laughs> Breaking the prevailing silence, a sudden musical laugh sounds harsh and almost sinister. Knight Command, at last. I've been dying to meet you. Come on, come on. Don't be so sullen. Come on over and have a little rest after your journey. You can always stab me or hit me with a spell a bit later. If you feel like doing that at all, of course. What an arrogant, talkative demon we've got. I can see you've made quite yourself quite at home in our camp what have we or what have we here one of those black armored blockheads why don't you join me and the commander for a little meal surely the mighty hell knight isn't scared of a little temptation and the demon bats her eyelash innocently Rigel uh, subtly frowns surprisingly and then he steps forward without hesitation sits next to the demon let's talk uh, um, you don't think we should refuse the demon's request? Sometimes it's useful to know your enemy. Why is the camp deserted, demon? Coranda. My name is Coranda. As for the camp's inhabitants, well, that's a long story. Please sit, Commander. All right. He claps her hand joyfully. Degas, you have no idea how eager I was to meet you and how quickly I got here when I discovered you were coming. Do you feel at ease talking to me in this shape? Because I can quite quickly slip something more comfortable. With snap of her fingers, Karanda becomes a golden haired bright young man dressed in the white of Saren Cleric. I can look like this, so likable, so trustworthy. Or if you prefer, this is my favorite form, it is driven so many crusades out of their mind, the mo demon's playful pose oddly clashes with the strict, upright parents of Queen Galfrey. Very charming. Now stop this farce, demon. Oh, Sir Knight. Do tell me, aren't you bored of yourself? Every soul must feel something to get their blood pumping. Some are driven by avarice, others by lust, and others still by envy. If you think you've managed to shield yourself from every nice and vice and every flaw, well... That just means that you're blind, and your vice is the greatest of them all. Pride. Okay, you said you knew I was coming. How? Who passed this? No. Oh. The demon looks astonished for a moment. How did I know? Ah, we all have our sources. Perhaps I'll tell you about them, Commander, if we can establish certain friendship. Are you here to preach to us, or do you actually have something meaningful to say? The demon expressions grow serious. I apologize for the frivolity, Knight Commander. It's so hard to restrain myself. I blame those Hell Knights. Ugh. No denizens of the Abyss could torture them as thoroughly as they punish themselves. But now, on to business. A rather unusual request. I'd like to become a Crusader. And before a thousand and one objections escape your mouth, think about this. Your fame precedes you by quite some distance. They speak of you even down in the Abyss. We have never encountered anyone possessing such power. That is... So exciting. The demon exhales loudly. I even heard that part of the power trickles down to your most loyal companions. So why would a clever lady like me keep on serving demon lords when instead there is something so unusual and intriguing? I can't promise you I'm going to kneel before Imadai of yours right away, but I have many, many interesting stories to tell 
about my friends from the abyss. Of course, I can also be of personal use to you. Any shape you desire, remember. I'm not even sure what your suggestions were as more revolting, demon. Your effortless portrayal of your kin or your filthy insinuations. Yeah, those were bad. Karenna's tail suddenly springs up and it tips gently and its tip gently caresses Regil's cheek. Oh, do smile, little Hell Knight. This isn't hell yet. Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> Not interested in your personal use, but I could do some with the information about your fellow demons. Tell me everything you know, and you may consider yourself enlisted. Oh. I'm gonna go with this. Only someone utterly mad would trust a demon. You're growing tiresome, demon. Make your move and let us get over with. I've told you what I want. Say yes, Degas, and in return, you will get my priceless knowledge about demonic and cult activities, my small collection of trophies, and me. Say no, and you'll get nothing but the incessant whining of your Hell Knight flunky. Like, I could see it being a thing where, sure, tell me what you know about your demons. But, like, I don't trust her. I'm gonna go with three. Fine. But I'm not used to be uh, giving up so easily. Demon chuckles. Want me to convince you? Here's a little tease. You asked me about the Hell Knights from the camp. They locked themselves up in the outpost main building, scared out of their wits. Go let them out. I'll join you later and tell you everything I know about the plans of my former allies. There's a serious conversation, so we'll have to be very thorough. Regal's expression is difficult to read, but he does not seem very happy. Through clenched teeth, he says, come. We must examine the building. I still think we're going to have to fight her. A bright future awaits us. I'm just not sure I wanted to kill her there. Wait, 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 There was a chest here. There it is. Let us not forget the loot. Let's see what we can do. Few mortals apart from the Hell Knight would dare settle next to a hotbed of blight. Fair. Seem kind of like a wild bunch. That post is in perfect condition. Everything appears to be in right place. And there are no signs of battle. Here we go. Security checkpoint. Highly precaution measure. Highly characteristic of Hell Knights. Uh, flanks the entrance. 